Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will discuss about the topic Algorithm Design and Analysis Process. Steps to Design an Algorithm. So this picture explains the sequence of steps we need to consider in designing an algorithm. First step is understand the problem. That is understand the complexity of the given problem. Read the given problem description carefully and analyze with the available problem types. There are different problem types in algorithm like shorting, searching, graph problems, etc. So, based on the problem description, need to identify what type of problem it is. Work out with the simple examples with the proper inputs and identify its input range in which it properly works and analyze its strength and weakness. So, consider the special case situations, boundary values, and analyze it. So, the first step is Understand the given problem and analyze in all respect to solve the problem and produce the correct output. Next step is decide on computational devices, exact versus approximate algorithm, data structure and algorithmic design technique. So first we need to decide the computational device. What type of computational device and other special requirements is needed to solve the problem. So the given problem, we need to analyze its operations and executions, whether it executes sequentially or parallelly. If the instructions execute sequentially, then it comes under sequential algorithm. If suppose if the instruction execute parallelly, then it will come under parallel algorithm. So decide what type of algorithm this particular problem comes under. Depends upon the algorithm, need to decide the computational device. Next, exact versus approximate problem solving. The problem that solves exactly, that is, it will give the exact output, is called exact algorithm. And the problems that solve only approximately is called the approximate algorithm. For example, square root, integral, and nonlinear equations can be solved only approximately. And even these approximate algorithms will run slow because of the problem complexity. So, the given problem we need to decide whether it will produce exact output or approximate output. Next is data structure. So, data structure is nothing but way of storing and organizing the data efficiently in memory for easy retrieval. Handling data during program execution is the most important part in problem solving. So, to store and retrieve the data, what type of data structure is suitable for that particular problem we need to decide. So general logic is algorithm plus data structure is nothing but program. So we need to decide the efficient data structure for the given problem which will improve the algorithm efficiency. Next is algorithm design techniques. Algorithm design technique is a general approach to solve the problem algorithmically in which this particular algorithmic design technique is suitable to solve the variety of problems. So it is required to learn and analyze different algorithm design techniques is very very important. In the next session, we will discuss the different algorithmic design techniques and what are all the popular problems that can be solved under each technique. So the different algorithmic design techniques are brute force technique, greedy technique, dynamic programming, degrees and conquire, etc. So learning these different algorithmic design techniques will develop problem solving strategy and even it helps to design the new efficient algorithms. So the second step is we need to decide the computational device, exact or approximate problem solving, data structure and the algorithmic design techniques. Third step is design an algorithm. Now we had the complete knowledge of the type of problem, inputs and outputs, data structure, algorithmic design techniques etc. Next step is we need to design an algorithm that is the step by step instruction to solve the given problem. There are three different ways of designing an algorithm. First is using natural language. So this example already we have discussed. Clear explanation of step by step instruction in an English language or natural language is the first method. And second method is the pseudocode. This also already we have discussed. Pseudocode is nothing but high level description of developing an algorithm. And in this pseudocode, first step will define the problem. Second step will specify the inputs and its boundary values. Third step will specify the output. And the remaining steps will consist of the logic explanation to solve the problem. 
and a third method is the flow chart flow chart is nothing but the pictorial representation of the algorithm this flow chart uses the symbol to represent the step by step instructions so next step is with the designed algorithm prove that the algorithm works for all legitimate inputs and produce the correct result so work out with all possible examples and check its correctness if there is any problem or if it derives any wrong outputs then redesign the algorithm and correct the faults next step is check the algorithm efficiency that is nothing but analyze the algorithm the algorithm efficiency usually we will measure in terms of time efficiency and space efficiency time efficiency is nothing but how fast the algorithm executes so the algorithm with the lesser execution time deals higher efficiency space efficiency is nothing but how much extra memory the algorithm needs to complete its execution so if the algorithm does not satisfy the time efficiency and space efficiency then the programmer need to redesign the algorithm the last step is code the algorithm if the algorithm is good in all respect and satisfies the above steps then implement the algorithm as a computer program in any programming language once the program code is developed then check the validity of the program by testing execute the program for different inputs and check its output test and debug the program thoroughly in all respect so these are all the steps in design and analysis of algorithm general rule is good algorithm is a result of repeated effort and review so consider these steps to design an efficient algorithm thank you for watching this video